What is the most exciting wildlife um, sighting we've seen so far? We actually had a sperm whale come within five meters of the boat. It was absolutely incredible. Um, it was like they were coming to check us out. We really hope we can see more whales. We've seen dolphins, we've seen turtles, we saw sea lions on the first couple of days. Um, we've seen a few shark fins, but nothing come too close. Jellyfish, tons of birds, um, loads of other fish. Um, but yeah, the top one next, I think we'd love to see is more whales, sharks, and maybe a manta ray. How did we decide to row across the Pacific Ocean? So um, we both rode across the Atlantic Ocean in 2022. Mims rode solo and I rode as a four. Um, and we were in Antigua together afterwards, trying to come up with a bigger and better idea of a challenge we wanted to do. And that's where the idea to row the full Pacific Ocean came from. What keeps going when it's really tough? Um, we listen to a lot of music. We chat a lot during the day. Um, I wouldn't say we have a particular technique. I think it's just knowing that if we don't row, then we don't get to the finish line. Yeah. So what are we eating and drinking? So every day we try and eat about 5,000 calories. Um, that will consist of three dehydrated meals and a snack pack um, ordinarily, but we have finished all of our snack packs. We finished them all a few weeks ago. Um, so these are what the dehydrated meals look a bit like. You just add water to hydrate them. Um, sometimes we have them hot, sometimes we have them cold. Uh, we also have nuts every day, so we made these at home. We've got cashews today. Um, but yeah, the dehydrated food does not taste good at all. And we can't wait to put our food back on land. What did we take with us to remind us of home? Um, we don't really have any space for luxury items. The boat is sort of pretty jam packed and it's already really heavy. We did, however, have a lot of family and friends write some letters, so that's been really nice to open and a little morale boost as we've gone along. What do we miss the most? So, definitely food. We don't stop talking about food. Um, we're really excited for pizza, burgers, steak, fresh fruit and vegetables, cold drinks. Uh, also, being able to have a shower or a bar or just running water really um, and a bed that doesn't rock, a loo that doesn't move, all those kind of things. What do you reckon Jess, do you think we'll ever want to do one again? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll have a break from this one um, and then yeah, one day there'll be another one. So you asked for a tour of our rowing boat Velocity. She's just over nine metres long, she's pretty heavy. She's built for expeditions and is very sturdy. Um, she's usually rowed by a team of four people. So rowing as a pair is a bit of a job to get her moving. And when you're rowing on your own, it's even harder to, to get the boat moving. So just on the bow cabin, we've got solar panels. Here we've got Mims on the oars in bow seats. We've got two rowing seats. On the stern cabin, we've got more solar panels and this is the cabin that we both sleep in, um, switching out on alternate shifts. Um, and then down the transom is our rudder, which thankfully is still there. We did lose one in the first attempt. Um, and then here we've got our hydraulic rudder system. Let's take a little look at the bow cabin. It is over three meters long. It is really long. We can even put our oars in there. Um, it's got a footwell, so we've got the parachute anchor um, and spare seat pads. We do joke it's a bit like Narnia though, because we have um, our our weather gear hanging up on the hatch handles just over the footwell. In this hatch here in the corner of the bow, we've got our e from Fuel Cell Systems. We can use this if to top up the batteries if we get a um, really cloudy day, or in our case we have a load of power issues. Um, that's powered by some methanol here. So we've been saving all this methanol until we get closer to Australia and um, the coast and the Great Barrier Reef where navigation is going to be a bit trickier. I'm just in the stern cabin. Um, we alternate sleeping in here, but we can both fit in here if we're on parachute anchor. It is a little bit of a squeeze though. So in the stern cabin, we've got all of our electronics and navigation equipment. So we've got our chart plotter, our stereo. We've got our VHF radio barometer, um, all of our USB and cigarette sockets, all of our switches, switchboard, and then battery monitors and battery isolation switch as well as our handheld Cobra radio. We have got lots of pockets on the walls and this is where we store all of our personal belongings. So we've got things like sunglasses, wet wipes, toiletries, um, letters and other bits. Um, we also store all of our clothes in our dry bags. So we've got dry bags from Silver and Life Venture. Um, they double up as pillows. We've also got our paper chart on the ceiling 
And the rest of our paper charts we store underneath the mattresses. We've also got our lithium ion batteries uh, underneath too, which are powered by our solar panels. And then we've got lots more lockers of storage underneath. So we've got spares, tools, um, glues, all that kind of thing.